Welcome to SVR IES Academy. Commandindia.com is our website. In this current affairs online video lecture, we will discuss about Financial Action Task Force. Why we need to study this topic? It came in the news within a couple of days. The meeting of members of Financial Action Task Force is going to be held. This is the international watchdog for terror financing and money laundering activities. As all we know, in Pakistan so many terrorist organizations and like Jamaat Uddawa, Lakshya Toiba and other organizations are operating freely and, and its leaders like Hafiz Said are roaming freely and they use money laundering route to fund the terrorist activities in India. In the Financial Action Task Force meeting, Pakistan says that it has taken adequate measures to control terrorism, terrorism and its organization from its soil. But India says it has collected many evidences and the evidences will be handed over at the meeting of members of Financial Action Task Force. And Financial Action Task Force is convinced means it may name Pakistan as a major defaulter of counter-terrorism measure. So it will bring bad name to Pakistan. That is why India collected many evidences against Pakistan. So let's wait and watch what happens in the Financial Action Task Force meeting. In this background, we will discuss the Financial Action Task Force and from the UPSC exam point of view. You know what is the purpose of this task force, when it was established, how many members are there, etc. So it is an intergovernmental body. It means the task force was established by many governments was established in the year 1989. Initially it was established by G7 summit which was held in Paris. It is an important prelims point. It was established by whom? It was established by G7 summit in Paris to examine and develop the suitable measures against money laundering. So initially the organization's only task is to compact money laundering. Later the organization or the task force mandate was expanded to include terrorist financing as well. So the two major objective of financial action task force means you should be clear one is terror financing and second one is money laundering. It can be asked in the prelims examination. Now we will discuss the various objectives of the Financial Action Task Force in detail. The objective is international financial system should be free without any threats like money laundering, terrorist financing and other threats. For that the task force set up many standards there's international standards and all the member countries should develop the standards in their national laws and policies and the task force aims to promote effective implementation of the legal, regulatory and operational measures to compact these menace of money laundering and terror financing. So the simple objective is international standards are developed. These standards should be practiced uniformly across all the nations. Nation 1, 2, 3, 4. All countries should follow the same standards. Then only we can effectively compact money laundering and terrorist financing. The task force decision making body is Financial Action Task Force Plenary. It meets three times in a year 
to discuss the emerging threats to the international financial system. Okay, fine. How many members are there at present in this task force? There are 37 members are there. India is the member of Financial Action Task Force. Financial Action Task Force Secretariat is located in OECD headquarters. OECD stands for Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. So headquarters of the OECD and Financial Action Task Force is same that is Paris, capital of France. What is the importance of Financial Action Task Force membership to India? India is the one nation that is hugely affected by terrorist financing because of the cross-border terrorism and, and terrorism emanating from Pakistan soil is affecting India's internal security much and money laundering is also another problem. We have enacted law that is Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002 and we also amended the act in 2012 but India's efforts alone will not give the desired result. For that international cooperation is essential. In the globalized world all the financial crimes are international in nature. So taking effective measures at the national level alone will not give the desired result. For that international cooperation is vital. That is why to compact the terrorist financing and money laundering, Financial Action Task Force membership to India is very important. In the national level, apart from enacting laws, we also created some organizations to compact money laundering. There is a Financial Intelligence Unit. Financial Intelligence Unit, India. So, the agency is responsible for receiving, processing and analyzing the information related to financial transaction and enforcement. So, money laundering activities in India is controlled or you can say compacted by Financial Intelligence Unit. That's all about important points in the Financial Action Task Force. It is coming under GS Paper 3 syllabus as well. So let's prepare well on this topic. To get the notes for this video lecture, visit our website comeonindia.com where go to current affairs section to download this notes for this video lecture. And to get more video lectures, Download our SVR IES Android mobile application. Go to Google Play Store and search SVR IES. You will get our Android application. If you want a personal care or personal coaching, contact us via WhatsApp or call us. Our number is 809-809-9922. Thank you for watching this video lecture and all the best.